Washington State University ready for students that um, want to come to a university to get higher education. So basically tell them my story, how I became an entrepreneur and, you know, just inspire them hopefully to continue higher education. We need more CEOs. We need more business owners that represent us. So it's a like Hispanic heritage, Latino. So like 500 students. Got my notes down. Oh yeah? Oh nice. Aquí estamos. Yeah, thank you. Hello guys. Buenos dias. So thank you Diana for the invitation. It's an honor to be here today with all of you. Diana saw a need for a group. So she built this community to help just like her. There are thousands of people that have sacrificed for you to have these opportunities for higher education. You are in debt, in debt to people that sacrificed everything for you to be here. And that debt needs to be paid. So I looked at all the landscape companies around my area and I saw what they were doing. I saw what kind of trucks they were driving, their uniforms, and I started doing the same. My company grew and in the first year we grossed over 1 million and we've been growing every year since. So mission accomplished. People are watching now and they watch my videos and they see my business and now they say, if that guy can do it, I can do it as well. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. So make sure when you guys are at these events that you're connecting, you're asking questions, make the best use of your time, because time is money. You can start a business and if you start it wrong, for five years, you're gonna struggle until you connect with the mentor and that mentor teaches you how to run the business efficiently. Then you're gonna start making money, but then you're gonna be in your sixth year. So make sure you guys get everything that you can as far as education, YouTube. I do a lot of YouTube. To this day, if I don't know anything, I go on YouTube, Google, not so much TikTok, but a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, TikTok's been, it's been very helpful for you guys to see the videos, to you guys see the possibilities of, you know, that you guys can be business owners, whatever businesses you guys wanna be in, just study the business owners around you. So if you wanna open up a store, a restaurant, landscape company, look for those companies. You gotta be, I'm proud of my culture and I've always been growing up speaking Spanish, at my house, I'm first generation here. My parents came from Mexico. I just have to work just as hard. It's not easier for us because we don't have that background. We don't have daddy's money, you know, to buy a house when we're 18. You know, we don't have that kind of financial literacy, but that's up to us now. Our parents made the sacrifice to leave everything, to go to another. It's like if somebody were to tell me, go to China and start over and figure it out. And they did that for us. So that's why I talk about the debt we have. It's like we have to pay it to them. You know, if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for them because they sacrificed everything for us. They left all their friends. They left all their family back there. And it sucks because sometimes we're not grateful. I wasn't grateful when I was a teenager. My mom used to see me in handcuffs in juvenile hall and she would be like, how come you don't listen to me? And you listen to the cops. They used to take me out in handcuffs for visiting. And it sucks because, you know, now they're not here and I can't show them who I am. You guys that have a chance, you guys need to make it happen for your parents. That's all you have is family. What made you change? Like you were just saying that you were, you got, you were Jumi and you did all that. What made you change? Like what made you like turn that corner and go, I, I don't, I don't want to be jail anymore. It wasn't getting shot at. It wasn't losing friends. None of that stuff phases you because you're just ignorant until you educate yourself. And then you say, you know what, this is, you know right from wrong, but you still choose wrong. And then when I educated myself on why I, I was doing the things I was doing, that's when I started to change. So that's why I say education is everything. I have friends that have been kicked, shot. They say the same thing. So when you guys are in school studying for anything, that's the most powerful thing you guys can be doing for yourselves is educating yourself. So there's something powerful that happens when you lose a closed loved one. Kind of becomes like the fertilizer. Like in the forest, when the trees burn down, they create fertilizer for the other trees that are coming up. So when you lose somebody really close to you, it just gives you that drive, that power to keep going for them, to make sure that their sacrifices aren't in vain. You need to do your business, and you need to show people like you, like you guys, that you can do your business too, because I need all of you guys to be entrepreneurs, CEOs because then your kids are going to be entrepreneurs, CEOs. They're going to follow your footsteps. That wasn't the route I should have taken. So now you know, now you know, and now you have that experience so that next time you know where to go, you know how to move. It's like you say, if me and my wife were to move here and we would want to get into real estate, we call you, use your 13 years of experience and heartache and struggle. You teach me the way to go because you already went through the side roads and the 
the bumpy roads and the dead ends. So I use your 13 years of experience so I don't have to spend 13 years trying to figure it out. And people are always open to help. Like a lot of people hesitate. I ask, I ask questions to other construction companies that are like 10, 20 million. I call them like, hey dude, I'm trying to get this. And they, they respond. So it's like, you just gotta ask, ask. Thank you guys for the class. It was good. Nice to meet you. I started following you on social media. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Thank it's you. Like Steve. Nice to meet you. So you guys, my, is this your family? Yes, my wife Talia and my sons nice made the trip out here. We're like, yeah. it's good because we didn't have this growing up at all. I was yeah. telling the kids, you know, I, pero les decía, man, we didn't have any of this. We had to figure it out by ourselves. And still being the minority, it's so hard out here sometimes, but no nos estamos dando por vencidos, like, dude. That's good because through social media, I feel like everybody gets connected a lot faster. Sure. Yeah, you say, like, I have a bunch of people messaging me, like, I'm starting my business and I'm helping my dad and I'm doing this, and I'm like, damn, like, what? So cool. like, when we started the theme for this year, yeah. right? I told my team, let's look for a Latino. Uh, entrepreneur in the construction trades. Who do we know? Wow. So um, I, I just spent a little time on TikTok, <laughs> okay. and I started scrolling, and I ran into Danny's wow. TikTok, and I'm going, "That's our keynote speaker." Yes. My team was like, "Well, how are you gonna get him? He's in Cali," and I'm like, right. "Don't you worry, hey. I, I'll give him a call." Right. So I yeah. reached out to Danny, and then I left him a voicemail, yeah. and then a message on Insta. And wow. I messaged on TikTok. <laughs> 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 I think the company's website. I love that, girl. You were on a mission. I was. <laughs> you know, all he could say was no. That's right. right? Yeah. These, these kids are just like, I see myself like in high school. I didn't want to do anything. I wasn't inspired by anything. I saw my parents just survive. So I didn't have any, you know, way to. And, and my parents never pushed me to go to school or, co or college oh per God. se. It's like a lot of high school. So yeah. it's like I'm in high school, mijo, and I'm yeah. good. No, mine were like, si no vas a acabar, well, at least work. Yeah. So it was like, yeah. it's like, it's true because when we started our business, it's like we had no wheel. We were just climbing step by step, but it was me and her climbing. Uh -huh. We didn't have other people to support the wheel. You know the wheel that I took a picture? Like it's so true, you need all these things for a business. And you're trying to be the, yeah. you can't. That's why you're always tired because you're going yeah. up the step by step, you step. You have to build a hub. We need to take his class. So see, we're always learning education. So when I started my business, I never started working with them. So I hired two people first and I never got in the truck with them because I saw how the other big companies moved and the owners never, owners were never with the guys working. They were growing the business. So I just followed that formula. I said, you know, you guys, I'm gonna leave you at this job site and I'm gonna go look for more work. And then it just snowballed and it grew and I hired more people. How many workers do you have now? In uh, Rosewood Construction, we're about 16. 16 workers, like four construction crews. And then the, we also own a restaurant, a fantastic cafe. So that's like uh, seven employees in a liquor store, which is like three. But we have managers uh, on the fantastic, the liquor store. We don't really get hands on on that. It's just an investment. If you could be like very successful in any other field, what would that be? Marketing, TikTok, Instagram. That's the new wild, wild west. There's so much money to be made on social media. There is. It's just, uh, it's the new Fox, the new ABC, the new Netflix. Like if you can imagine, if you watch a podcast for one hour, you took that one hour of watch time away from Netflix, ABC, Fox, for those companies to produce one hour of a show, it costs thousands of dollars. Producers, actors, you know, the movie stars. And then you have a podcast with three cameras and it costs 300 bucks to make and you're taking away all that valuable watch time. So, you know, I'm doing my business to inspire other kids and, you know, so they can see that they can do it. And, and it's, a, it's a great way for Latino youth leadership to help me connect with these kids, you know? So it's like, I get to connect with them, tell them my story and basically explain that you can do anything you want, you know, in this country.